What was the reason why you originally came to me wanting coaching in the first place? Um, I needed some um, answers for my questions and I knew that you can help me find these answers. Um, coaching for me is a long journey so I started this about two years and a half ago and um, I've done a lot of work on myself um, and I just felt my intuition told me that uh, this is very important for me, the path is, is here for me to discover more about myself and about uh, the world we live in and uh, I found your posts and I found um, um, everything you're sharing on the social media actually speaks to me and that's why I came to you when you put that post up. Okay, thanks. Okay. And What have you taken away from this three-day intensive here in Bali? What's been, what's been your takeaway? Okay, um, I don't know where to start. It's, um, I've taken a lot, but the most important thing that I have actually um, discovered is that I know nothing about the reality yet. So in coming here, I discovered a whole new world. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, this is how I was thinking about it yesterday. You know how in primary school we learn that um, you can't do three minus six? Here, I learned that you can do three minus six and it's minus three. So before coming here, I had no idea that there is that um, negative quadrant or you know that actually the the reality is actually not just what we're experiencing it's a lot more than that so here i learned that it is possible and i learned how to understand it not completely not finally not totally but definitely in the right path yeah and what do you think is the impact of this work or what, what, what do you Obviously, it's still early days now, but what, what do you see as being the, the impact of what we've covered here on these on these three days of intensive work? What's the impact for you? Oh, I've, the impact is is actually on everything, on every level, because the way I understand myself and I understand my own reality and my own thoughts and my own being has completely changed and transformed. So. Um, I would say that I am not the same person that came here on Friday. And it's so important that, um, that there is actually, there is a lot of things that I'm taking home and, and, and there is like a little bit of, um, you know, I don't know where to start from to tell you what has changed because there's so much that's changed. And the most important bit that is making a difference is that I am understanding a lot more about my being and finding more of what my soul is searching for and that is very important. Yeah. It's gold. Yes, it is. And looking back on where you were, say before we did this intensive. So looking back on the beginning of this experience for you, what would you actually have said to the, the version of you going into this experience? Well, how would you have described what this experience was going to be like and what to expect? <laughs> um. You don't know anything yet, just wait for it. 
you have told me a lot of the teaching that you taught me here before. I never got it. I never understood it. So you have told me a lot about, you have taught me so much about my thoughts and how they are forming. But before doing this experience, I knew nothing. I understood nothing. Um, this is an experience. It's not just a teaching, it's not just a learning, it's nothing you can read of a book. It's nothing you can actually um, get from someone just like that. It's an experience that needed to be felt and understood and experienced that way. So I was, I was thinking, oh my goodness, I'm gonna like crack the code and, 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 and get, you know, all the 100 pages of notes done. And no, that's not, not, no, it's not that. Yeah. It sounds to me like you, you realize it's, a, it's an embodied understanding that comes from a feeling, from an experience, rather than an intellectual idea. Yes, yeah. And you shared with me something that was profound the other day and I asked you, what do you mean? You told me, in the fullness of time, you will understand more and more. So I was thinking, you know, so when is this gonna happen? And it, it actually doesn't. Um, in the fullness of time, it will happen when it's supposed to happen. So sitting with the unknown was something that I'm needing to learn still and um, understand more about how do I embrace the unknown to actually know is a big thing. So yes, it is an embodied experience. It's nothing that, um, that could be actually um, taken away in, 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 in a session or two, it, it had to be done that way. And what, I'm, what I'd love to know is some of the challenges that you came into this with, there were some, obviously there were some challenges that you had that you wanted a deeper understanding of that were, were causing you some either stress or worry. What, how do you relate to, how do you relate to some of the problems that you came in with? Are they still there? Are they shifted? How, 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 how would you define the problems that you had and the problems that you now have? Oh, uh, that's a really good question because um, because the brain that created the problem that I, what I thought was a problem that brain changed. So now it's it's uh, like a deeper um, understanding of what the actual problem is so my um, my problems that I came here with aren't there anymore because they're not problems anymore they're they're the version of me was experiencing this kind of thoughts and reality beforehand now there is a different version new version of me experiencing answers and even more deeper questions about different things maybe other different things and quite often I noticed during our sessions is that we start with something and then that something changes completely by the end because it's a different question that I was actually asking and and it's not what I was expecting to hear as an answer so it's 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 it's, it's a big thing that's happened here and um, and yes my questions aren't aren't there anymore. Now I have different, deeper questions and always will be searching for different answers and even deeper understanding of who I am more and more. Love it. How would you, how would you share what you've gotten from this experience in relation to what you knew was on offer? <laughs> to be quite honest, I didn't know I was on offer. I had no idea that um, it was going to be that kind of experience and learning and, and, and takings. It's not, I didn't know that, like when you put the post up and said I'll, I'll 
you know, um, I'll teach you my knowledge and I'll give you what I've learned and I'll give, I'll, I'll share with you my wisdom. I thought, wow, for someone to share wisdom, that's, that's like, that's huge, you know, that, that is actually very good and huge and it's what I needed to get in order to, um, wisdom is very important. Wisdom is, is the search that every human being, I think, every human being, that's my thoughts again, um, every human being is searching for wisdom. I have quite often, you know, sat and prayed and I asked God to give me wisdom because I wanted to understand more about why is this happening and and what has happened, what have I done so I can cause this to happen. I've asked this question millions of times, so many different times and I asked for wisdom in so many different things. And and I I was wondering why why is it that I don't have this wisdom? So um, I actually understood a lot more about what wisdom is and how is it for someone to share a wisdom of some sort? And um, am I go am, am I answering your question? What was the question again? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it was it was how do you describe? Um, what you've got from this experience versus what you thought was on offer. Yeah, so I, I yeah, thank you. Um, so coming into what was offered, I didn't think it was going to be anything like that. I thought it was going to be learnings and teachings and methods and, 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 and you know, the, the five simple steps to coaching, the five, you know, simple steps to attracting clients. And I, was, I, I really thought it was going to be like that. Um, and you shared something profound with me in these teachings. You taught me what is the difference between physics and engineering. So you said that physics was the understanding behind things and the engineering was the know-how. In this experience, I've learned the physics, a lot about the physics of the way I think, the way people think and the nature of reality and what we are experiencing in this life. Yeah. So a lot more deeper than what I thought, ever thought. And how would you describe that to just this be the last question? Yeah. How would you describe what you've learned in this experience compared to everything else that you've learned in the other previous trainings and coach trainings? Because I know you've done a lot of training and you've done a lot of personal development. You've you know, you've studied a lot. How do, you, how do you compare what you've got from this experience to everything you've learned prior to now? So with all the personal development and all the coaching experiences that I have done, it was learning um, what is six minus three. Here I learned that there is more to life than just six minus three. This is where three minus six happens and why does it happen and where does it happen and how do we decode that for people um, with the learnings and the coaching that I have done before it was um, like learning the basics and understanding understanding the basics of you know principles of different things that happen in life and how to understand why people procrastinate, why people have overwhelmed. This, this experience explained that and more, but in a lot more deeper platform, not just the same learning that I knew before. Now there is transformation can happen. It will collapse a lot of the experiences that you've ever had. And you don't need to do all of the um, complex, switch patterns and, and, and timeline therapies and NLP and all. It's a lot more simpler than that. And to me, this is just profound in terms of coaching a client. What else do I want? That's it. It's amazing. Yeah. Right, good answer. And um, one, last, one last final question, which would be, If someone's, if someone's not sure 
about whether or not they want to work with with this type of work with me with these principles what would you share with someone if they weren't if they weren't sure whether this was something they wanted to do you will be wasting your time and energy and money learning a lot more where the simple answer is here simple nothing complicated about it it is very simple yet very true and because it's true it's profound and it's real so you can go and, and, and try different things and learn from different people but what I've learned here I wish I would have learned this when I started coaching I wish that was available for me I wish I w knew it was available I had no idea that this kind of learnings and teachings wisdom actually exists yeah thank you you're welcome right